back to the channel everybody. I'm Andre and uh, you see a pizza right here, but we're not making pizza. We're gonna take what's on this pizza and turn it into a sausage. Okay, let's just dive in. This is a pizza where most people say they don't like it, but whenever you're at a party and this pizza's out, it's always gone. It is the Hawaiian pizza. So we're gonna take this idea and turn it into a, a smoked sausage. I'm excited and uh, let's go. Okay, let's just dive in. I've got the pork butt here and the belly trim. I just love this combination. I know it makes great sausages. That's why I keep using it. I'm just gonna get this open and uh, Kind of smaller so we can fit it into the grinder. And like I always, I like to go buy the boneless one. It saves me work. And for those few pennies more, worth it. <laughs> got that done. Now we just got to set up the grinder. And I will be grinding the belly trim because I always like my fat smaller than the meat. We're going to do that through the smaller plate first and then everything through the coarser plate. So got all that weighed just to be just to be sure and exact and now we can weigh the spices. So here we go. We're going to do the salt first and I'm using pickling salt or salt with sodium nitrite because the bacon and the ham that are actually going in as well already have that. I always like to use a separate spoon for the salt, not that I contaminate anything. So here we go. Okay, got the, all that done. So let's get to mixing. We're gonna put the salt first and just work this in a bit first. And the other, the other ingredients uh, we're gonna add after we grind this, because we don't want all that stuff ground up. It's not good. Get the spices in. A little bit of rice flour. And now we might as well add it too, because we're gonna have to grind this again the water, give this a quick mix, get that water soaked up. Got that ground, got that mixed a little bit more. Now this is where the magic's gonna happen. Here are all the ingredients we're adding to this to make it Hawaiian sausage. Beautiful aged white cheddar. We have black forest ham. We have homemade bacon. And we have pineapple. And this has been charred over charcoal to get that charred flavor, add some more, <clears throat> just to, to really amp it up and uh, Let's get it in there. And uh, here we go. Oh, I can't wait to try this one. I Let's uh, get this all mixed in. And I didn't add any salt. I just want to clarify, I didn't add any extra salt for the weight of the cheese, the bacon, or the ham, because that stuff all has enough salt in it. 
and if you were to add salt for that weight, it would just make it too salty. <clears throat> Got all this set up. I actually went and started the smoker too, just to save some time. So here we go. Fill the hopper. Squeeze out the air. down so we're just gonna fill the horn quickly now the fun part find the end of the casing these guys have been soaking for over an hour okay there we go found the end now we're gonna put a little bit of water in just to make it easier to actually get on the horn so we are using a 2932 hog casing for this. It's a very common size, readily available tie knot. And here we go, we're gonna use this hand as back pressure to stuff a fairly snug sausage. You don't wanna to go too tight. And just like that, the first strand is done. I'm gonna continue and then we're gonna link them all. So here we go, start one, start two, twist. Same thing, one and one, and twist, and just keep going. Enough fooling around, let's get these uh, sausages in the smoker. Smoker, oh. Smoker's at like 200 right now, which is what I want. Make sure they're spaced out. There we go. One, and before the wasps attack us. Beautiful. Spread these guys out. They look great. I can't wait. And uh, see you back in about an hour. We're going to take a peek. Well, an hour has gone by, and uh, let's check on them. Oh, they are looking good. I know they're not done yet, but. I'm just going to take the temperature. I just want to see where we're at. Uh, 54 Celsius. I want them at 71, uh, so they're cooked. And uh, probably about another half an hour. Like I said, they're looking fantastic. And next time you see me, we're going to be inside tasting these. Uh, I got to do it inside because the wasps are insane and I would get totally attacked here so I'm I'm not going to do that for you sorry see you soon they're inside they look fantastic and uh, I'm just going to pull a couple out just randomly take two doesn't matter which ones but you know the drill I'm going to get my ice Put the ice on and cold water to stop that cooking. <laughs> yeah. Lengthways like always, just to get you a good view of the cross. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. Wow. Well, wow, that's fantastic. 
You know, you see the pineapple, the big chunks of bacon, the pieces of ham, the chunks of cheese. Nice and juicy. Wow. I'm, I'm impressed. That's very good. Now, I really didn't explain in the beginning, but this is actually a whole process because I had this idea to make these and I actually started filming the video because I was sure it was gonna work, but I used fresh pineapple. Drained it off, you know, get as much liquid out as possible. But there's something you have to remember about fresh pineapple and I totally forgot and I was almost done the video. I took the, the sausages out, but they were really, really, really soft and mushy. And I was like, what's going on? You have to remember that pineapple has a fresh pineapple. It has an enzyme which deteriorates or breaks down protein. So that enzyme, in the time from when I mix it to it got up to temperature was enough time that it actually broke down the protein which totally made it into mush. Needless to say I wasn't very happy. I scrapped that whole video. I tried again a smaller batch with freeze dried pineapple, same thing. And I was like, I was about to give up but then I'm like, you know what, one more try. I made a really small batch and I used canned pineapple like you saw at the beginning. And being canned, it's been heated up, and those enzymes are essentially dead, but you're still left with uh, the fruit. And it worked, and this worked because I used the canned pineapple. It's fantastic. I'm being serious. Look it up about uh, fresh pineapple and the enzymes. Uh, it's a real thing. But I didn't think it would really affect the sausage that much, but it did. And it's a learning curve and I love it. Now I know for sure, 100%, never to use fresh pineapple and something like that. This way is fantastic. Uh, I can't say anything bad about it. Tastes, tastes good, oh my God. Basically, what I, the moral of the story is don't give up. If something doesn't work, try and figure out why. Do your research, do your homework, and try again. You know what? This is the fourth batch. They are awesome. I am extremely happy with how they turned out. Uh, I will list everything below. And uh, for me, this is another winner. You guys know I'm passionate about making sausage and I love it. I've got more recipes coming out in the next little while. And uh, I hope you had fun with this one, I did because it tastes great and I will love these and I know people are, the people I'm gonna give some to are gonna love them as well. Well, with that being said, guys, thanks for watching. Show some support, hit that like and subscribe, leave me some comments and uh, like always, happy eating.